Now Anthony winning it back. Oh, mistake by Mavropanos. It's Garnacho. Take two. And the deflection spins it onto the roof of the net. Well, Man United's best moments are coming down West Ham's right. A couple of times Mavropanos has made a mistake on the stretch. Can't get there. A much more difficult chance for Garnacho. He's actually looking for McTominay, who's arriving at the far post. Man United's second corner. Taken short by Bruno Fernandes for Luke Shaw. Better angle for the Portuguese to try and get the ball in. Second chance for Garnacho. Menu through a crowd. Oh, the goalkeeper made a mess of it and got lucky. Don't know whether that sat up awkwardly in front of him. A wry smile from the goalkeeper. It's a bobbler from Menu. No power on it whatsoever. It's so comfortable. So a chance for West Ham to take the lead before half-time. Kudus leaving it. Unsurprisingly, it's Warprow swinging it in. And the header. Routine for the goalkeeper to watch wide from Socek. Well, that's the beauty of the high line for Man United. The fact is then they don't retreat onto the six-yard line. Socek's having his header from 12 yards out rather than the six yards out. Fernandez getting it in, looking for Hoyland. Breaks on the edge of the area for Wan-Bissaka. As Fernandez swings it back in, the half-time whistle goes. 45 minutes that hasn't been immersed in quality, a late flurry of half chances, the best of which fell to Alejandro Garnacho. Uh, neither goalkeeper has really looked as though he's going to be beaten, other than one that was fumbled by Alphonse Ariola. Anana with the only difficult save early on in the game. He made it pretty comfortably. No real surprise from what we've seen that the half-time score is West Ham nil, Manchester United nil. Another crowd scene, ensemble inside the six-yard box. Well, Prowse sending it in deeper this time, and it's a good save. Really good stop from Anana. Bowen denied. Best chance of the game. Well, you're expecting the corner to be around the goalkeeper, but it's overhit this time. And it's Bowen at the far post. Brilliant goalkeeping, excellent spring. Keeps his eye on it all the way and gets a good hand on it. Pakata, Bowen! Well, it's taken some time in coming. At last, a moment of pre-Christmas inspiration. And it's the leading scorer, Jared Bowen. The man that does it again. And Manchester United's ghosts of Christmas present get bigger and bigger. Who gets himself central. And his timing of the pass over the top to Jared Bowen is absolutely brilliant. He gets a bit of fortune. It ricochets back off Anana into him. But what a pick out that is from Pakatar. No look pass over the top. Bowen gets there first. His touch is great. Bit of fortune because Anana can all he can do is palm it back into Jared Bowen. But the run and the pass deserve the goal. First time that he's ever scored against Manchester United in his career. But it's his willingness to get in behind the Man United defence and make that run that earned him the goal. Now given away here by Maynou. And Kudus might be able to take full advantage. He can! Two goals in six minutes. Premier League football, a steep learning curve for Manchester United youngsters. And Mohamed Kudus makes it 2-0 to West Ham.
setting up a miserable Christmas for Manchester United. Well, it's a man that played under Eric Ten Hag at Ajax that may just have confirmed the three points for West Ham. They give the ball away cheaply. Maynou lets the ball go under his boot, but he's still got so much to do. Faced up with two defenders, he finds the bottom corner with real accuracy. It's a super finish. This counter-attacking football, they've hardly had the ball, but they've punished Man United twice. Brilliant, into the bottom corner. Exactly the Christmas present that David Moyes would have wished for. Victory against his old club, Manchester United, which, for now at least, takes West Ham into the top six. The Hammers not at their best, but the rare moments of inspiration were all theirs. Goals from Bowen and Kudus in a six-minute spell, increasing the woes for Manchester United. For them, a long goal drought, long faces, and a long season beckons. Only the second time in 33 years that Man United get to Christmas outside the top six. It's finished. West Ham 2, Man United 0.